Hey guys, John here. So in front of me, I have a 2022 Toyota Tundra SR5 Premium. This one is a two wheel drive, but it does have the auto level rear suspension in it. So let's take a quick walk around of this truck. All right, so take a look at the Moroni on this truck. Suggested retail price is 42,000. Here's some of the options that it comes with. So with the premium audio package, we're gonna have a big 14 inch screen in this truck. We also have the load level rear end in this truck, which allows the rear end to automatically adjust with airbags when you're towing stuff as blind spot monitoring, the SR5 convenience package, the SR5 premium package, which is going to give us those power seats, heated seats, and soft tech seats all the way around. And it does have a heated steering wheel for 50,000 and then some extra stuff on the truck for 52. Just some port installed options. Let's go ahead and go into this one. Super white in color, black interior. It's got the soft tech seats. Basically looks exactly like my TRD off-road premium Tundra, but this one is a two-wheel drive So none of the cool buttons and features right here Just drive mode tow haul mode and then over here We don't have the rear locker But we do have the manual mode to manually adjust your rear end of the truck when towing a trailer and then it is automatic too So with this whole system set up you could set up a whole garage You could set up a whole trailer system so the truck knows which trailer it's towing and knows how heavy that trailer is It's pretty cool and then we also have the integrated trailer brake right there. This one just has a normal mirror so it does not flip and turn into a screen like mine does. And this one also does not have the full 360 camera system on the outside. But taking a look at the outside guys, this is what the normal SR5 looks like. All color matched. Looks pretty good. So the chrome has been growing on me, on mine in the front. But taking a look real quick at this grill, all color matched, the SR5 normal sr5 is like the least chrome truck aside from the sr that you can get so far so this is the standard sr5 grill that you get standard led headlights in this truck and led tail lights here's your standard sr5 wheels this truck does have the blacked out badging on it black mirror caps take a look at the back seat nice bit of room back here for your rear occupants no moonroof in any SR5 models, but you do have a back window that goes down. Nice soft text here. Center cup holder. Vents for the rear occupants. And then take a look at the all-weather floor mats from Toyota. So I personally have WeatherTech floor mats in my truck, but I guess this is what the all-weather floor mats look like. Yeah. So this is my first time seeing them in person, and they just barely come up here. So the WeatherTech that I put in my truck, comes all the way onto your plastic railing right here and it seems like Toyota's just stopped right there. Your gauges for the SR5. No big digital gauge in the SR5. Massive 14 inch screen. When I saw this truck while I was waiting for my truck to get uh, its alignment done, I thought that this was just going to be a normal SR5 with like an 8 inch screen, kind of plain Jane one because I haven't seen a plain Jane Toyota Tundra yet, honestly. Uh, and I was really hoping for that. But this is very cool that you get a lot of these features in an SR5 truck now. Your composite bed, five and a half foot bed. The rear end of the truck, this one has some black Tundra inlays. I like how the spoiler or the, the duck bill in the back of the tailgate, I like how that's blacked out. Very good looking rear end. I do wish that this was white down here to kind of break it up but it's not chrome and it looks uh, pretty good with this truck. I actually really like it. So no cameras up top, but it does say Tundra up there. I never noticed that before because a lot of the press vehicles that I see and stuff, they all have the full 360 camera view. So that's actually kind of cool that that says Tundra right up there for non 360 camera models. And then you do have your reverse camera right here. Got the tailgate that comes down. SR5s don't have the little cool gimmicky button right there only limited and up and then we do have our 400 watt outlet back here pretty nice but the big thing about this truck is this one is going to be a good towing truck why because well unfortunately it's not four wheel drive but that does mean that you get a bit more payload out of this truck and to coming down here we got the air suspension so we got the air suspension right there with the auto load leveling kit on it. So if you put a lot of stuff in the bed of the truck, the air is gonna automatically go into those airbags and level out the truck so you always have a good comfortable ride. And so the truck's pretty much not sagging all the time. 
All right, guys, so let me know what you think about this two-wheel drive SR5 Premium. A lot of tech on the inside, a lot of tech on the outside, but still pretty plain Jane at the end of the day, and it is a two-wheel drive. Would you pick this truck up, or would you have something else in mind? Guys, if you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Returning subscribers, as always, appreciate your guys' support, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, see you later. Thank you.